beauties it's your girl Bree pre now i know i haven't been on youtube for a long time and well not a long time like a month month and a half and that's because i moved um in with my sister in the suburbs it's summertime i don't have school I work, i'm working two jobs out there and i really only come here which is my parents house in the city um whenever i'm off which isn't that often considering the fact that i work two jobs so i'm gonna try to get at least two or three videos up right now because i don't know the next time i'll be able to film and then hopefully as things calm down maybe i'll bring you guys with me to my sister's house to film but it's kind of hectic because i have a niece a nephew a roommate her boyfriend they fight my sister and it's just it's just crazy but we'll try to figure it out just bear with me i know i lost some of you guys and you guys are left on my ride or die so since I felt so bad about not being on here that often, I am coming at you guys with a haul. And this is the haul that I spent my own money on. I think everything was like 100, 150 bucks. Um, I got some new brands that I haven't tried yet. I got some drugstore, I got some high end. So we're gonna get into this haul. And the first thing we're gonna get into is the only thing that I haven't unboxed. It just came in the mail today. I went to Walmart to get some more makeup for this haul and when I came home it was waiting on my footstep so um this is I'm trying to get the box I just opened the box up so I wouldn't have to open it up on camera but um let's not show my address Gerard Cosmetics oh this one was near whatever it is from Gerard Cosmetics <clears throat> I don't know if it was if it's backwards in the camera. It looked like it was in my viewfinder, but whatever. So when you get it, it says, Hi beautiful, we're so honored to have you as a member of our Gerard's Cosmetic family. You are an inspiration in everything we do, which is why we love interacting with you on social media. <laughs> Micah, I'm trying to My bad, my nephew came in. Um, we are committed to making every experience with us an awesome one so please keep in touch your comments and feedback mean so much to us every single day we love you and hope your days just, just got a little bit better with this very special delivery <laughs> which it did <laughs> thank you so much for supporting our brand and it says yes we are addicted to makeup no we don't need help we just need makeup p.s please share your makeup looks with us using the hashtag gerard cosmetics or hashtag leave your mark and this is what it looks like and here's a cute little package with a cute little gold sticker i got one of those summer survival kits so all i got was a setting spray um i think a liquid lipstick and a um i don't know if i got a regular lip lipstick or a lip gloss we'll find out here Ooh, I'm gonna, uh, let me see and, okay here's my receipt so i got um a, yeah, I got the summer survival kit. I got the stay, the Slay All Day Setting Spray and the Scents Peach. I got the Buttercream Color uh, Your Smile Light Lit it, Light It Up Lip Gloss, and I got the Serenity Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And it was only twenty eight dollars. You can't really see that, but that's it. And then when you open it up, you get their attempt to keep things safe. But I mean, you can't shatter a liquid lipstick. And then we have <clears throat> this little <clears throat> card here that has brow bar tips and BB plus tips and tips for days and other stuff. <clears throat> so let's get into the setting spray. <clears throat> I was low on the setting spray and I actually went to Walmart and I was going to buy one of the e.l.f. setting sprays because I liked those a lot and I was running out of it. And I'm like, I don't know when this package is going to come because I ordered something from another brand, which we'll get into next. And this that came way before this one, so I was worried. But I'm glad it came because they were out of the Elf Settings where I want at my Walmart. So here's what it looks like. I really hope this isn't, I didn't get the wrong camera because it'd be looking like reverse. And it, it smells like peach, like even outside of it. So I don't have any setting spray on. I'm spraying it in the wrong direction. My eyelash there, good. Chip is gonna out of control. <clears throat> um, smells good, refreshed. I got the peach because I felt like it was the only one that reminded me of summer and like summertime and make my face smell like a fruit, please. And then the next thing is the color smile lip gloss, 
and here's what the packaging looks like real cute i'm loving the black and gold i love me some gold i got it on my inner corner today and here's what the packaging looks like um i got the shade buttercream and i'll swatch it for you guys oh look at that how cute <laughs> it's like golden all right that's what it looks like there I really like that actually I'm really into the nude gloss I'm actually don't have any on today right now so I had some on which I'll talk about in my favorite video but I was eating and my little niece kept touching my lips so that's what it is there super cute and then the last thing I got is the hydro matte liquid lipstick it says long wear on it also black and gold packaging <clears throat> and i got the shade serenity this is how it looks it's actually really small compared to um here's one of my color pops it's actually pretty small <clears throat> this is my first time um having gerard cosmetics i figured i would try some new stuff and branch out <clears throat> and this is what that looks like there that's serenity so i mean i feel like i was looking at swatches on youtube to try to figure out real quick what kind of lipstick i wanted and i'm kind of in the news but i'm like let me branch out but it's kind of dark there but i mean we'll figure it out I'll try to do something with that so that's all i got from gerard cosmetics and it was 28 dollars and how much was shipping that's my question I don't know how much shipping. I don't think it was shipping cost actually, which I'm I'm happy about because that shipping can make you delete a few things in your cart, which I feel. Okay, I put all my color pop in this bag. So we're just gonna get right into it. This is the this is the package that came in. Normally I get a box. Last time I got a box, but I have bought a lot of things last time. So this time they just put me a little packaging in there. And here's my receipt, so we'll go over the receipt first. I spent, oh, does it tell you? It doesn't tell you, but I think it was like $40, but I had got, <laughs> I had used my other email to get the $5 off, and then you know that shipping. So I really got one thing for free, or I really got shipping for free. And so we're gonna get in to that. I think I got eight things from them, so let me grab it real quick. Thing four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We're going to start off with the thing I was most excited about. <clears throat> Kathleen Lights came out, <clears throat> excuse me, with a couple collabs with um, ColourPop. And um, I didn't get her lipsticks. I didn't get her first round of eyeshadows. And she came up with this quad the last quad she came out with and now I, I like them so the problem I have with her first collab was you can buy the eyeshadow single I think at first or something and I don't need another nude another brown another plain eyeshadow just to get the one cool eyeshadow so this time since they sold them in um separately I got an eyeshadow and I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of their eyeshadows I have bought a black one with glitter in it. I forgot what it was called. And it just shattered everywhere. And the only other one I got is this one in Game Face. And I mean, I like that one too. But this is the one I got from the Kathleen Lights co uh, collection. And this one is called Telepathy. And, ooh, that liquid lipstick smeared like a moon. That's how it looks. I'm like really into this right now like you have no idea I used to be a silver person and now I'm starting to be like a gold person and it's just everything you need and more so and look at how pigmented this is watch this one time watch this what play games with it if you want to so I feel like that'd be a cool thing to put kind of in here and then kind of put some black on the edges with a little liner and some big falsies I feel like that'd be really cute so that's telepathy and also I'm not a big fan of their eyeshadows because I feel like you have to like only use your fingers or find like the perfect brush 
and sometimes I'm not trying to like I only really get lid colors from Colourpop I don't get things mattes or things I'm trying to put in my crease because I haven't figured out how I'm gonna put it in with my finger and blend it out I don't know <clears throat> so the next thing I got was a one of their cream gel eyeliners I wanted to get uh the white one in the stick they were sold out they only had the pan and I was like I don't need the pan I saw somebody swatch this one this is in the shade kicker I saw somebody swatch this and I'm like I need that in my life don't know how I'm gonna wear it don't know what I'm gonna do with it all I know is I need it in my life and there it is beautiful and one thing about these gel eyeliners you guys is I swatched this last night because I just could not contain the excitement and I tried to wipe it off with a makeup wipe after like a half hour or so and they were not going nowhere these eyeliners were not going anywhere so I'm really excited about that and the next one I got is in the shade get paid now the swatch I saw online I felt like it was more gold than anything but I'll show you guys how it looks it's more of a coppery it kind of reminds me of that eyeshadow I just showed you guys um in game face I feel like and I'll swatch that just because I didn't just buy this but I'll swatch it just so you guys can see the comparison so this one has a little bit more red this is one this is more like a copper penny but um I just got a little sent off I thought it was more gold gold but I mean this could still be really cute with a uh, smoky like a bronze smoky type of situation or something and look I think it's dried down enough I can show you guys like Look at that. Wait, I got eyeshadow on everything. I'll try to use my thumb. Well, that one's a little bit. But that one's not going anywhere. So, I felt like that was pretty cool. <clears throat> the next thing I got is one of their ultra matte lipsticks. And this one is in the one Clueless. I think I have about six or seven of the, of the liquid lipsticks. One of them I'm going to talk about in my upcoming uh, June Favorites video. And, um, I just like the liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna put this on the side because I'm running out of space here. That's how it looks. So a little bit more mauve compared to, I think it's a serenity. A little bit more mauve, a little bit more everyday, a little bit more, I feel like I can do ombres with this, be nice. So that's that. And then the next one I got, I don't wanna go out of, okay. The next one I got is in Dr. M. Now the, when they first started coming out with liquid lipsticks, I feel like this is one of the first ones they had and I was like, what am I going to do with a teal liquid lipstick? But as you guys saw in my lip swatch video, I do love colored lipsticks. I know it may not seem like it. I'm always wearing nudes. I'm a, I'm a good nude person, but that's for like every day. I love being able to not just do winged eyeliner, but do a whole eyeshadow look and then do a bold lip like this. I feel like it's just the best and this is like a teal you know everybody knows what a teal is like a bluey but i really love this i love this right here that's how it looks so and i come to realize that with my golden goddess skin tone i can pull off any shade so it's whatever to me i don't make it on ultra sad to me that's like a lie i don't know the next one I got is in the color Chai or Chi, however you call it. I'm going to call it Chai because I'm in Chi Town. That's what we're going to call it. And this is the one I think they did with like K-pop. And it's, so it has like a rose gold, which I really appreciate. And I'm going to swatch it. These swatches are all, all over the place. But this is like a brown nude almost. I feel like I could use it a lot. There it is. It's more brownie. It's coming off a little bit more pink in the camera, but it's a little bit more brown than anything, like a brown nude, and I appreciate that. So the next things I got were part of their Ultra Satin. I haven't tried their Ultra Satin yet. I only got two. And this one is in the shade Marshmallow. Packaging is exactly the same. We're gonna switch hands. It's gonna be awkward because I'm left-handed, but we're gonna try this out. Now, I love this because it reminds me of what is that lime crime I can't remember that lime crime lipstick but this is what it reminds me of I try to get it and then I saw all of that um look how light my hand is going my face then I saw that lime crime was going through all of these scandals and how some of the formula wasn't the same so 
that's what I got and I let this dry down on my hand last night a little while and um it does dry down a little bit like it stays on your skin a little bit there is transfer because it is satin but it's still shiny and the next one I got is in petite four this is more of a gray not more of a gray it is a gray and um this is that there I just like it I just like it like this with this almost play games with it if you want to so that's all I got from color pop I'm dropping things on the floor let me get there real quick and we're back so let's see what else we got here the next three things I got were some Milani lipstick I have one Milani lipstick in the color sweet nectar I'll swatch it for you guys just because I'm not doing a lip with list I'm not doing a lipstick collection on the Milani lipsticks because I don't have enough but I liked how it smelled and I really like this orange for spring and I thought that it smells like watermelons just so you know I love the gold packaging I feel like it's super cute and it reminded me of Maybelline lipsticks I love Maybelline so let's get into it I got black cherry and that's how it looks there and of course I'm going to swatch it for you guys with my extra awkward right hand and that's how it looks now I was looking at this lipstick for a long time like months and I just never got it because I'm like what am I gonna do with that I have like three of them already I have the Transylvania by NYX I have LAX by Colourpop like this is the exact same thing and then I saw it on my friend's lips and she had it in her house and I tried it on me and I was like I need to get it I went back to the store it was sold out but the good thing about living in the suburbs is not a lot of people so I got to get in the suburbs now the next shade I got is nude cream and it looks like this there just a cute nude I'm gonna put it on the side here a really cute nude um there it is I mean it looks compared to all the other ones it's just I mean come on now play games with it if you want to the next one I got is Coral Attic. Now this is like a nude orangey shade and I'm like but I already have the other one in like Sweet Nectar. What am I going to do with this? Um, but I mean I like it so I got it. Put this on the side here so you guys can see a comparison between the two. It's just more rare. It's just more wearable. There it is. It's an awkward spot but it's just it's just easy to wear. Like here's Sweet Nectar Super Neon. And here's Nectar, what is this one called? And here's Coral Addict, I'm sorry. So Sweet Nectar, Coral Addict. And you can just see the difference. This is just more, it's just lighter, it's just easier, it's just better. Okay, so the wiping of the hand didn't work. It stained for days. So we're just gonna go with it. The next things I got are from Walmart, which is where I just came from. Um, I got real boring stuff. So we're gonna start with my favorite foundation. This is like really the only foundation I wear. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Now I like this in the dewy skin also. I have it in the dewy skin, but I have it in the color, oh, the same color. Um, this is the dewy skin one, this is a matte one. They didn't have the dewy skin one at the Walmart, so fuck you Walmart. And it's just my shade and it's just matte, so that's pretty cool. The next thing I got was so hard to find. I bought this before and um, it shattered and I went to go get a new one and it was gone. I went to Five and Below who sells it, it was gone. I went to Myers, which is where I got the Maybelline lipstick and they had it there but it was only one left and it was shattered. So when I went back there, I guess, went back to Walmart, I guess they restocked it. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer with the SPF 15. And this is how it looks. And this is in the shade Take Me to Take It to Brazil. They normally only have like the other, the darker one, which is like, I think it's like Sand, Sun Beach or something. And this is how it looks. This is everything. If you're in a 120 fit me through a 130 fit me or 115, this is everything. I'll try to swatch it. There it is up there. It just gives you a nice like bronze look and it's like perfect. Like I normally use my um, 
my Too Faced, the Chocolate Soleil. And it's like, it's a little too dark for me, so I have to like blend it, blend it, blend it. But this one is just like perfect and I love it. And it's only like $3.90, so you can't beat that. And the next thing I got was, I got two rental products and this is the Match Perfection uh, concealer and highlighters two in one i got the color 125 fair i got the last one so ha uh ha -huh. um oh this already was squirted out and it, it didn't even have a cap on it so uh i don't know about that but we're we'll it anyways but that's kind of that kind of bummed me out it's like already squirted out and nasty i guess it's my fault for not checking the sealer but that's how it is I love it it's bright it's everything and the last thing I got from Rimmel is the scandalized Lyman length uh, mascara and this is how it looks it has this brush where it's like one side is for volume and one side is for length I was gonna get the Maybelline big eyes because they had the two uh, mascara ones like the smaller one for your lower lashes and a bigger one for your upper lashes but I saw this one and it was like two dollars cheaper and I'm like I can use my my bottom lashes with this little brush and then my top lashes with that brush so this is my first time using it that's how it looks haven't bought this before okay so i don't know how that works out but here's the brush i don't know how that works out i think this is for the long and this is for the uh the volume so we're gonna try that out because i've been using a different one which i'm gonna talk about in my june favorites but it's not a favorite and it just burns my eyes to high capacity so the very last thing we're going to talk about is the best and yes i saved the best for last and it is the jeffree star beauty killer palette uh -huh. and this is how it looks uh -huh. i have been using this palette um all the time i use it today i have this shade here in uh courtney and this shade here in vanity on my crease and then i put princess on the lid right here and then i put rich bitch in my inner corner and then i put a uh, china white on my brow bone and you guys you can use this for more than just eyeshadow um i was trying to change out my bronzer before i got this ticket to brazil and i put courtney on my nose to contour with and it was everything and i ran out of setting powder so i put china white um, underneath my eyes and i even used it to clean up my contour and it was everything you guys so i even used a uh, princess as a highlighter not today but i used it as a highlighter and it was it was pretty decent so you can use this more than just uh than just a uh eyeshadow but i'm gonna make a separate video on just this with with swatches and i'm gonna insert pictures on all the looks i did because i did about five or six look, looks with this already so that was it for my makeup haul i hope you enjoyed it my hands sort certainly enjoyed it and um just stay tuned for my videos bye